actual video. Oh, this is it. These men training on a. So this is the this is like Al Jazeera covering it, but American news didn't cover it as like Nazis are are training them. In Ukraine say they want to defend their country from Russian aggression. <laughs> Freikorps has its origin in German nationalist groups of the 18th and 19th century, and the leaders. For the record, that's just straight Nazi. That's like they're calling themselves the Freikorps. Okay. Of the group say it has thousands of members but only 60 have bought their own licensed weapons and regularly serve alongside ukrainian army soldiers on the 420 kilometer front line 24 year old gleb studied homeland security and crisis management at uni also why are they on the ar platform that like oh well i mean we know why but university he says one day Frycore with the fucking Wolf's Angel, like that. This right here is is this. That's a Nazi insignia. They're literally wearing Nazi insignia, calling themselves the Frycore. Okay. He wants to open a gun shop. Why did you choose Frycore? Uh, because they're more ideologically closer to me, so uh, I decided to join them. When you say they are more ideologically closer to you, can you tell me what, what you mean by that? How? What do you believe in ideologically? Uh, can we pause that? Okay. Sure. Freikorps. Huh, that's weird. What the fuck? That's crazy. Why is it more okay for Turkey to be nationalist but not America? We've both committed genocide and atrocity. It's not. I was just talking about, I'm trying to educate Westerners on eastern nationalism okay i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to educate westerners by giving you an example i'm saying it's a normative position and and it's insidious the way that like nationalism can be trafficked into the common rhetoric as a consequence of the cultural identifiers with nationalism for countries like this okay is not the only armed group accused of being neo-Nazis that has appeared in Ukraine since the conflict with Russian-backed separatists started in 2014. Others, like these men with the powerful Azov Battalion, have been... Did Turkey commit far worse genocides and crimes in the USA and even for a longer time span? Wait, what? What are you fucking... What are you saying right now, dude? I, I don't even understand what this fucking conversation is, dude. Like... The number one, the oh, I'm I'm getting debated. I'm getting debated. Okay, let's continue into the Ukrainian security services under the Ministry of Interior. Freikorps and many groups like them have been praised by Ukrainians for their willingness to take up arms and defend the country against what they describe as Russian aggression. But that does not mean that they are popular amongst voters at the ballot box. The coalition of right-wing groups only managed to win less than 3% of the vote in the last parliamentary elections in 2019. That's the other part about it is that like nationalism is growing or like fascist far-right movements are growing in Ukraine. But at the fucking ballot box, they are not represented. But in the media, God, oh my God, if you saw, if you look at Western media, you would think the entire fucking nation, even if you look at Russian media and their propaganda, the entire nation of Ukraine is full of fucking Nazis, right? But in America looks to those Nazis and points to those Nazis and says, these are brave Nazis that are trying to defend Ukraine, okay? But it's like, like this is, this is the template, okay? America takes one of the most awful insidious reactionary elements and arms them and legitimizes them and uplifts them until they literally do end up getting more fucking national prominence it has happened time and time again and whenever i mention it whenever i bring it up like the mujahideen whenever i bring it up with respect to like gladio or whenever i bring it up with like latin american countries nicaraguan death squads right you're like, oh, dude, dude, that's what aboutism. No, it's not. This is exactly what America has done historically and is trying to do in Ukraine currently. It's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. And they're doing it. And they're doing it over and over again. And, but for some fucking weird reason, no one, re no one recognizes it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, is it similar to the coverage of Cuba? Yeah, that's another great example. Thank you, Crumbum.
Thank you. Remember when everyone told me I was a fucking piece of shit for actively denying the revolution that was ongoing in Cuba? And then I showed you that even fucking Fox News was, was literally showing pro-government communist protesters and making it seem like they were counter-protesters that were like protesting against Cuba? What happened then? Remember when the Miami uh, mayor was literally like, we should nuke Cuba? We should drone strike Cuba immediately? What happened, dude? Yeah, Cuba Libre, right? What happened? Pulled that one out of your ass? No. What do you mean? Pulled that one out of my ass? Okay, I'm gonna... This is a gray name. Like, who cares? Why is it that in, like, 99.9% .9 of foreign policy situations, I go against the prevailing media fucking narrative, okay? I go against the media narrative, the major media narrative that is like declared in this way, um, uh, that, that is like overwhelmingly in support of like uh, whatever America's adversaries are against, okay? And, but for some fucking reason, like I'm right. I'm so regularly right on this shit, but you guys st still say, oh man, you're, you know, you're, you're wrong. And then you move on and then we totally forget about it. But some of its leaders, such as Dmitro Yarosh, have been made <clears throat> advisors to the head of the Ukrainian military. <laughs> Participants in this torch-lit rally resembling Nazi gatherings in 1930s Germany hold a banner honoring Stefan Bandera, a Ukrainian Nazi collaborator widely recognized as organizing the massacre of tens of thousands of ethnic Poles in Ukraine towards the end of World War II. Bandera is the nickname fellow Freikorps volunteers gave this man. 24-year-old Bodan says the group has its origin in what he calls pan-Slavism, connecting <laughs> similar-minded people. That's my favorite take because, like, pan-Slavism is so funny because the Nazis don't consider them human. Like, they'll work with them, right, for a little bit until they wipe them out. And it's, like, the funniest thing. It's like, dude, you're not, like, they don't think you're fucking human, idiot. Like, you are not, you're not white. Like, you're not Aryan. You're not master race, you dumb bitch. It's so funny. It's like, no, no, it's, uh, you know, we will, we will rise up. We will do pan-Slavism. Fucking dumbass, dude. Ay, yeah, yeah. It's so good. It's so good. It's like fucking Nicholas Fuentes, that like Hispanic Nazi. You know what I mean? It's like, dude, they you would get murdered. Okay. You would, you would get fucking murdered. <laughs> across Slavic regions of Eastern Europe, including Russia. But that changed when the conflict started. If the West respects democracy and pluralism of views, they have to respect our views. But to get to- Yeah, what about the diversity of opinion, dude? What about the diversity of my Nazi opinions? I love that. It's always the same, dude. They always, they're so one note. Yeah, what about my uh, diversity of opinion? You liberals, you say you care about diversity, but here I am diversifying uh, the opinion pool, okay? By saying we need less diversity. The political future, we would need to show people we can be competent leaders. We need to gather like-minded thinkers, qualified and educated people. If we manage that, we will have a political future. But liberals do be agree that agree with that. Liberals literally look to this guy and go, "Wow, what a wonderful, uh, what a wonderful young man." <laughs> and political strength. Experts say the far right in Ukraine has its origins in football hooliganism, poverty, and a country that, along with many other post-Soviet states, has struggled with political corruption. The Russian-Ukrainian border didn't really exist for these movements. The Russian far right and the Ukrainian far right moved in these same circles and then when the war came some of them chose one side and some of them chose the other. And the fact is that the connections are still very much there in some parts and it's almost certain that there are Russian agents of some sort within these movements. Freikorps leaders say they've been overwhelmed by people wanting to join since the crisis between Ukraine and Russia has escalated. But as NATO countries throw their weight behind Ukraine, they should perhaps be aware of what this conflict is creating on both sides. 
That's great. The football thing is so fucking true. Even in a privileged country like Italy, holy shit, it's the first time I see anyone talking about it. Yes, hooliganism is, is uh, always linked back to like fascist movements or hooligans will routinely be used as... Uh, as, as <clears throat> hooligans have always been used as like the military for the paramilitary forces for fascist movements. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on why the USA arms up these extreme nationalists? Hmm. I wonder why, because they're an incredibly effective way of like, uh, they're an incredibly effective way of, of creating, uh, instability on the ground. They're, they're usually willing to fucking fight. They're psychotic. I mean, I don't know what else to, I don't know what else to describe there uh, other than, you know, some groups are ultra left wing too. Yes, there is football hooliganism that's ultra leftist as well. Hmm. So, hmm, Ukraine shouldn't be more powerful in weapons and military to protect Ukraine because of weirdos like that exist. My friend, I don't know if you can't comprehend it. I'm not even saying the entirety of the Ukrainian military is like this, okay? But what you have to understand is, like, America is actively arming, training fascists. Why do you, uh, why do you not have a problem with that? Why do you think that that's, like... Why do you think that that's okay? Oh, man, if a couple fascists get fucking guns in training, and then they go out and, like, you know, spread their ideology further, then that's fine. That is completely justifiable. You focus on them a whole, whole lot, though... Yeah, because Al Jazeera is the only fucking outlet that's covering it by saying Ukraine is offering uh, training to civilians, whereas American media is covering it as just like, oh, Ukrainian special forces are offering training to civilians. When, like, the Azov Battalion's fucking Nazi crest is quite literally right there. Like, that's fucking insane. How do you not see that? Okay. It's so strange that, that you think that you think this is like normal, you know? It's like we're, we're literally giving, we're giving guns and training and legitimacy to Nazis, like actual Nazis. Okay? And the thing is, and we're, we're legitimizing those Nazis, okay? So what ends up happening in that situation is the exact same as Afghanistan. Here's how MSNBC covered this. Okay, thank you. This is what I was looking for. Matters into the Some communities are taking matters into their own hands. Just across from Russia, in the city of Mariupol, some Ukrainians are preparing. Basic training for the whole family. Learning first aid to... Don't you think that that's uh, terrifying? Don't you understand how, how awful that is? That, like, the legitimate forces there... But it's not. It's totally different. There aren't Muslim. Exactly. But, you know... Don't you think it's, like, fucking terrifying that we are doing exactly the same shit that we've done? It, like, exactly the same shit that we've done? That is the Azov Battalion crest, for the record. That is a Nazi symbol. And they're not even doing a good job of hiding it. They literally got fucking punished for it, and then they turned around and changed it up a little bit. That's why I said I think this is bad for self-defense in case of an attack from Russia. Eyewitness reporter Lucy... The Azov Battalion guy and his Nazi Wolf's Angel symbol is overseeing Baba Valentina. Naturally, the U.S. TV media is beaming into our homes, uh, keeps discipline silence. The Nazi insignias are fine. Just don't mention them out loud. And people fucking yell at me and say I'm crazy for this. And they say, why are you covering this so much? Why are you covering it? Well, I don't know. It's never actually fucking, it's never actually been uh, good, you know? Yeah, they had the black sun on top of the Wolf's Angel too. They, then they deleted the Black Sun before their PR rebrand. Exactly. This is what their shoulder patches look like. 
For those of you who don't know, the Black Sun is Wellsburg, Himmler's home for his knights in the SS. A Black Sun orbits our, orbits our Earth, totally invisible to the naked eye, emanating power and knowledge to those who can sense it, illuminating for them the Hidden Reich. Like, they literally deleted the Black Sun from it to hide it. The reason why they deleted the Black Sun from it is because they got a lot of... They got a lot of fucking flack, but they kept the Wolf's Angel, and, and America is just covering it without even mentioning it. Yeah, Al Jazeera talks about it from the point of view of, like, these are fucking literally neo-Nazis that are training people, right? The Fry Corps. The neo-Nazis are training these people, but... Uh, but American media is not even mentioning that. Western media never mentions that. Rarely ever mentions shit like this. Okay? Just like sometimes I forget to mention the top of the hour ad break. Where there's a 60 second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe. And that you can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. Or if you're lucky, you can get gifted a sub. Okay, and sometimes I don't mention it for the first 15 minutes, but now I'm mentioning it and I'm running the ad break now. The Wolf's Angel was the initial symbol of the Nazi party in World War II. The sign and its elements were used by various German SS armored and infantry divisions such as Waffen SS Division Das Reich and Waffen SS Division Landsturm Nederland. So we only train the military that wasn't fascist. You would have an issue. Would you have an issue? No, I still would have an issue, but the reason why I'm showing this is because the fascist militia elements have already taken over uh, significant strategic positions within the National Guard because that's what they did. They fucking literally took the, the actual Nazis. Remember, Ukraine's, uh, uh, like, Ukraine's leader is Jewish, okay? But they are still collaborating with actual fucking Nazis. The U.S. and EU are not supporting Azov and Pravi sector. They're supporting the Ukrainian army. Why is that wrong? Because the Ukrainian army has take because the Ukrainian army has active Nazi battalions within it. Why do you not see this? Why do you not understand this? Why do you not recognize that they can openly fucking have their coat of arms out and about like this? Okay. And the United States has historically run the top of the hour ad break, which I'm running right now. Okay. But they've historically utilized reactionary components, fascist components like this, within uh, governments, within the, within the security forces of governments, to actively uh, uh, destabilize regions. You can say it's one fucking battalion and it's not a big deal, but the same concept, the same principle existed with the fucking, with the Contras, the same concept, the same principle existed with the, uh, with the, uh, the Mujahideen, Okay. And it's not just 60 fucking people. Like they're, 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 that's like 60 people in one fucking troop that are actively and openly showcasing Nazi uh, gear. I don't know what else to tell you. Like you literally have, you literally have fucking John McCain and Amy Klobuchar with these fucking dudes. Uh, the American government has been like, oh, I'm so sorry. We shouldn't do this. Okay, we should no longer train and give arms to the Nazi groups. And yet, for some fucking weird reason, no one recognizes it. Like, oh, it's just a couple Nazis, like, chill. It's not just a couple Nazis. And a couple Nazis can literally take over a big chunk of... of it, 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 these aren't just a couple Nazis. They're literally a couple Nazis that are training people, okay? They're training the people. They're, they're able to give... Formal training and brainwashing, active brainwashing to the people in fucking actual regions here. Matters into their own hands. Just across from Russia, in the city of Mariupol, some Ukrainians are preparing. Basic training for the whole family. Learning first aid to treat gunshot and shrapnel wounds. And weapons training on a 7.62 caliber AK-47 is... Look, look at this! That's a grandma! That's the grandma! Getting trained by a fucking straight up Nazi with a straight up Nazi patch, and you are like, and, and the American media is not even covering that part of it. Konstantinovskaya. The 79 year old is a retired accountant and a great grandmother. 
you're about my mother's age, and I can't picture my mother laying down on the concrete learning how to fire an assault rifle. Do you think you would actually be doing this? Yes, if Putin comes, I should be able to shoot. The threat is very serious, she says, and I think every person in our country should be able to shoot from the window or on the street if the enemy comes. Some communities are taking matters into their own hands. Just across... Like, doesn't that strike you as odd? The people that are, like, saying Donald Trump's a Nazi, MSNBC that says Donald Trump's a Nazi, Donald Trump's a Nazi, Donald Trump's a Nazi, are literally staring at actual fucking Nazis with Nazi patches, and they're turning around and going, no. No, that's fine. Like, this is chill. What the fuck? We have never, we will never learn from our mistakes. We will never learn from our foreign policy if you chatters who are supposedly in a fucking socialist anti-imperialist broadcast are turning a fucking blind eye to this and being like well russia's worse so we gotta fucking train the nazis or it's not the whole country Can't wait for that 3% influence to grow further, by the way. In a country where that kind of reactionary influence has, uh, has had historic precedent, which we literally pointed to. It's great. Perhaps the most prominent position an ideological militia can be in is physically teaching the normist chatters denying this. Imagine your mom and dad are being taught by Nazis how to defend themselves. You don't think they may turn around and be like, these guys are all right? Yeah. So de-escalation is the appropriate way to do this. By the way, I love the people saying Putin's also a Nazi, but the stronger one and actively expanding his sphere of influence. It makes sense to try and stop him. Okay. No, you got it. Yo, no, you, you just got to make sure your Nazis are stronger than the other side's Nazis. Got it. What happened to your diet, Lamal? Wait, what do you mean? I'm eating a falafel, you fucking weirdo. Why is it that when I eat falafel alongside, like, a falafel alongside fucking uh, straight white chicken breast, motherfuckers are like, dude, your diet is blown up. It's over. What's that? It's not your place as an American to tell what Ukrainians are or what their cultural ways are. Sit this one out, sweaty. <laughs> it's not even their culture. I mean, there are parts of their culture, but... Dmitry Wagner Ushkin, leader of the Wagner Group, awarded four medals by Putin for service in Donbass. The worst part about it is not even the fucking uh, nationalists on the Putin side or nationalists on the Putin side directly being funded by the Russian government, but there's also the Chechen reactionaries as well, for the record. Like, I agree, and I've mentioned this before as well, that there are absolutely fucking, there are absolutely fucking Nazis on the, or not Nazis, but like hyper-nationalist, ultra-nationalist Nazis on the Russian side as well. Except we're not arming them, you fucking idiot. 
Am I arming those Nazis? No, but my tax dollars are arming the Nazis on the one side. And this is exactly what the fuck happened in Afghanistan! But Adam, something disagreed with you? Are you allowed to have your own opinion? No, I guess I have to... Uh, agree with Adam something, a person who I've introduced this community to, um, who now uh, believe that he's uh, correct and I'm wrong. Anyway.